I'm uh, pretty much on board. And, um, of course, I was starting to feel like, you know, the world is, you know, this is getting to be 18 years now. And my nieces and nephews see me as the guy on TV and that kind of thing. I said, I need to, I, I need to have a few years with some people, with certain people in my life. And um, it's starting to creep up on me and uh, starting to, and, and maybe going through all of this stuff and watching people dealing with their families and things like that made me a little bit more aware of, you know, well, how are you dealing with, you know, people in your life? Uh, so it started creeping into me and uh, about, hmm, you know, we're going back and the whole thing. And, um, you know, there's somebody who's just doing what they're supposed to do. So what are you supposed to do? You know, and, you know, I, I went home <laughs> and, you know, I heard my niece say something to a friend of hers. You know, that's the guy on TV instead of that's Uncle Kev. And I was like, oh. I don't know how well that sat with me, you know. Um, but at the same time, it's like, oh man, you're in such a privileged position and you work so hard and you, you know, hopefully have gotten good at this thing. And um, what are you thinking, man? You know, and the whole thing. So it, it, I guess shuffling everybody around and doing this and doing that may have had some, you know, something to do with the decision to, to do something else. Um, but I think it was more of just a, a natural uh, thing to um, feel something else, you know, and to be aware of some other people that were in my life that kind of needed me around a little bit more. And um, it was at a time and certain, you know, all my nieces and nephews and some other family members too. And um, I said, I don't know. You know, it started creeping in and creeping in and creeping in until it just stayed in. Right. <laughs> you know, I thought about it a, a long time. I was really, really nervous about saying it to him. And then one day he, you know, I asked him, Jay, can you, you got a minute? I really need to talk to you about something. And I said, I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, moving on. And um, that was weird. <laughs> and... I really believe that um, neither one, neither he or I, completely understood why, um, and we kind of felt like we were losing something. And um, on screen, you mean? No, just maybe both. You know, because here we had this thing that came out of nowhere, and was really good people enjoy it the whole thing you know you know wow how, how do you pick that how do you you get two people together that had you know and and it worked out the way it did to like you know poof just that simple it's it's you know we part um and i don't think he really uh expressed the feelings he wanted to i don't know if he you know i i, I know i didn't and uh, and we've we've spoken since then, and I think only now we really get to feel you know or feel comfortable maybe voicing a little bit about what we really feel about it, and um, and how maybe how could this have been avoided, and and the whole thing you know because I miss doing the show, and I feel like um, you know it's course I love playing music so you know um, but I, what I miss is that we developed something and we got good at it um, and now it's kind of maybe for the right reasons it had to end um, but it still doesn't you know um, you can't dismiss the fact that you feel a certain loss behind it which I do um, a friend somebody you learned a lot from, provided a great opportunity, and somebody that, you know, I worked hard for, wanted to, was, in, you know, felt great about doing it and the whole thing. But it, it's hard to put into words because people go through things, you know, and it's just a certain point in everybody's life 
where uh, things might be going this direction and you just feel some internal change that's that's happening in you and you may regret later or you may say well I want to you know I don't I don't necessarily want to never be in TV again because I learned so much and I'm just as comfortable in front of a camera as I am on stage playing you know a piece of music I wrote or something so it would be a shame for me to feel like I don't want to I don't have anything to contribute to a, a TV show again or something like that because I was trained in such a you know, great way and a great, you know, format like that. And at the same time, Jay is, you know, I mean, an icon and, and, you know, in comedy and in television, the whole thing. So it was just this tremendous back and forth, you know, how could you do this and, 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 and all that. And um, I think we both feel, well, I, I guess I can't speak for Jay really, um, but um, the, the last time I spoke with him, it felt like we had, I didn't say anything in particular, really, but it just felt like we were really talking like Jay and Kev again. Like, how you doing, man? Everything okay? You know, and, you know, because I shot this commercial for, for a product, and, um, and I sent him a clip of it. I sent him the commercial, and I said, Jay, I, I just shot this commercial, and it was a full length. It was, you know, a really long commercial. It took days to shoot, and it was, and I said, I want you and Debbie to watch it because, I don't have anybody else to send it to that will get, critique it. And the people that I know, you, you're my executive producer and you're Jay. So I sent it to him and they checked it out. And, you know, he called back and he said, man, you were really good. You know, you felt comfortable and, and the whole thing. It was, it was really relaxed. And um, he said, so how are things going? You okay? And blah, blah. And we talked and I said, well, you know, how are things over everything, you know? And, and he told me what he really, he started really telling me what he thought. And, uh, and I would talk with Debbie, the exec executive producer, and we talk about things. And, you know, she said, are you seeing your family? Do you, you know, so it's kind of gotten, you know, she said, do you miss us? And I said, terribly, you know. She said, well, what do you think? You know, I said, don't ask me. Don't, you know, did you, know, did you do the right? You know, said, don't ask me, Deb. It's too soon. And, you know, it's, you know, it's moot point at, you know. But, you know, I don't want my niece to call me the guy on TV. You know, I, I, I can't have that. And if it's a situation where I get back to a TV show, which I would love um, because I like it and the whole thing, but, you know, if you have to deal with some stuff, you have to deal with some things, and uh, that, that was important. So, mm -hmm. um, but I think just now, and it's been um, maybe uh, not even a year and a half, that we... I mean, this is somebody I had to kind of study. I know his facial expressions, I know his voice inflections, he knows mine, and the whole thing that we, the last time I spoke with him, it was Jay and Kev talking, and it wasn't, you know, hurt feelings, or it wasn't this, it was, you know, hey, how you doing, man, and, and, and that kind of thing. So we, there is a certain thing that we have for each other, I, I feel, anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's obvious on screen. Yeah. What was that last show like? Oh, man. Um, it was, uh, I was really, really nervous, but not in the sense of like I would mess up what I was doing or anything, but um, trying not to let everything come into my mind about this whole, you know, trek that I've been on and the whole thing and um, seeing Jay's face and you know he wasn't happy about it and um, you know it was it, it just you know at the same time doing that my office is being cleaned out and the whole thing and I, you know and there's friends from the show there you know they're partying in the office they're like trying to have a good time with it and the whole thing and I'm like buying beers for the guys that are you know, packing up the desk and everything and, and all that, it was it was pretty emotional. Um, so uh, it just seemed like the longest show ever. You know, it was, you know, because it just, from that morning, it just was all I could think about was, you know, you know what, what are we going to do? You know, what am I, you know, what am I going to do? And... It just seemed like a long, it was, it wasn't fun. <laughs> <laughs>